loves. Hope you're enjoying the beginning of summer. I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes, so I wanted to show you what I've been up to lately. The first thing I do when I get into my office is write morning pages. I've been doing this more consistently to work on disconnecting from my ego and strengthening my self-worth. It's like my own self-therapy session to start my day with the right energy. Today, I'm looking through samples for the 2020 Artist of Life workbook and my new pastel journals. I started earlier and gave myself more time to work on these this year. I actually finished the design for the 2020 workbook in May. So this is already the second round of samples. Here, I'm just writing up my notes in an email for the manufacturer. They're not perfect yet, so we're gonna have to see a third round of samples. What this process teaches me is to be patient because all good things take time. I believe in perfect divine timing, so everything will happen when it's meant to happen. You just gotta trust the process and don't rush it. Here, I'm testing different paper types for the pastel journal samples. I make it a point to test with different pens, gel pens, highlighters, calligraphy pens, and more. You might have seen me post about these on my IG stories. I am so excited about them and hope we can launch maybe sometime in August. Now for the ultimate Sharpie test. So it looks like the top paper passed. There were no marks seen from the back and I was pretty impressed. Then I'm just laying out the samples to choose cover options. I honestly love the process of creating something physical, being able to hold something in your hand that you designed on the screen, it's just magical. Next, I plan to tackle some admin tasks, just batching some calls to get some things fixed at our house. Then it's time for a little lunch break. I usually throw together something really easy for lunch, like this avocado toast. I've been loving adding olive oil, salt, and pepper to my avocado. This is how I've been eating avocado these past couple weeks. It's so good. So after I fuel up, I head back upstairs to my office. 
For the rest of the day, I'm working on creating worksheets for my new online course, Create Your Dream Life. During quiet days like this, when I'm not shooting or going out, I love going makeup free, wearing comfy clothes, and working with some peaceful music in the background. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> like when you go to a restaurant, you always try something different. Are you that type oh, of person? Yeah. Oh my god, me too! <laughs> Now let's open up some PR packages. I honestly did this for the vlog because I know you guys are curious to see what type of things I get. Normally I would do this at night after my packages have been sitting there for over a week. <laughs> I was excited about today's packages though because one of them is from Face Tori, which I love, and the other box said snacks, so I got curious. I love all the new Korean skincare products I get to try through these Face Tori boxes. And these snacks came all the way from Australia, which I really appreciate. So thank you Snack Bears and Face Tori for sending your packages. Okay, now back to work on my worksheets. So I've been working on the Create Your Dream Life course since April. I honestly plan to finish everything in April, but things took longer than I expected, and I also procrastinated a bit. I've learned that I tend to underestimate the amount of time it takes to finish something, so I have to be patient and give myself more time for my projects. I've also been trying to invest more time into long-term projects that will pay off in the long run, rather than short-term videos that give immediate gratification but require endless hustle. I think you have to have strategies for both short-term and long-term in your life, but don't forget to prioritize the important things rather than the immediate, urgent things. Then it's time for dinner with mom. <laughs> Wilson was at basketball today, so he wasn't there to join, but it's nice to be home with my mom again since she was living here by herself. And it's kind of cute to have Wilson here too because now I can see how he and my mom are starting to bond and learn more about each other. Anyway, my home has always felt really calm and peaceful to me, so I love being here. By the way, I found this Spotify playlist that I really like called Dalcom Cafe. It's a playlist of chill K R B tracks that are perfect for working too. I thought the song was really cute and perfect for nighttime. After I'm done with work, it's time to unwind with skincare. Out of all my habits, skincare has been the most consistent habit for me. I feel like it's been ingrained as deep as the habit of brushing my teeth. I know. I need to make time for skincare. I don't care how late it is or how tired I am, I will wash my face and layer on the products because it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel good that I'm taking care of my skin every day. If you're curious about what I use, I recently shared a skincare empties video of my favorite skincare products, so you can check that out at the link below. Tonight, I thought I'd pamper myself with a sheet mask as well. My skin tends to be on the drier side, so the more moisture, the better. While I wait, I'll read a bit on my iPad. I've actually been obsessed with reading otome games. It's one of those things, if you know, you know. But yeah, my favorite is Ikemen Sengoku. Of course, we gotta use up the rest of the essence and not let it go to waste. 
After that, my skin feels great and I am ready to call it a night. Good night, my loves. Thank you.